Okay, in example 5 on page 108, we're going to look at a specific factoring. We're going to look at the adjoint i mod a, where a is the ideal generated by i plus 1. And so just to remember, what is this? This is a set of all elements that look like a ring element times i plus 1. So where r is in z adjoint i. And if I haven't said that before, the adjoint i is called the ring of Gaussian integers. The adjoint i, we call those Gaussian integers. That's just an aside. Okay, so in part a, we are asked to show that the coset minus 1 plus a and the coset i plus a are the same in the adjoint i mod a. How do we show that? Well, you may remember from the coset lemma that two cosets are the same, so ba is equal to ca if and only if b inverse c is in a. And in additive notation, This becomes b plus a is equal to c plus a if and only if minus b plus c is an element in a. Okay, well in our case we are looking at minus 1 plus a and i plus a, so we want to show minus 1 plus a is equal to i plus a. But by our coset lemma, that's an if and only if one plus a. No, sorry. One plus i is an element in a. Well, and it certainly is since a. is the ideal generated by 1 plus i. So we can, what does this mean? So we can consider i and minus 1 to be the same in this factoring. So in other words, when we're working with cosets, we can regard i as being the same as minus 1 in this factoring. So every time we see an i, we could replace it with minus 1. Oh, sorry, minus 1. So i and minus 1 behave the same way in this factoring. And another way that you could, we could come up with this is we have a is the ideal i plus 1. And therefore we have that i plus 1 plus this ideal is the same as the ideal itself. Well, but that you could view as 0 plus i plus 1. And so here we have i plus 1 and 0 are different representatives of the same coset. And so they essentially behave the same. So we can think of i plus 1 is equal to 0 in this factoring. Or when we are working with elements in this factoring. So every time we see an i, we can replace it with a minus 1 or vice versa. Now in part b, 